All right, thanks for tuning in everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube as always. If you learned something, go ahead and hit that like button, leave a comment, and make sure you ring the bell so you get a notification when I drop a new video. I wanna show you where you can go um, so you can reconstruct a COVID dashboard that I put together last year during the height of the COVID uh, lockdowns, right? It's just a, a dashboard I put together, step-by-step -step instructions, and it became really popular. And so I'm very thankful for that and all the attention uh, that it has garnered. But I've noticed here lately that people have been saying, hey, where can I find the data? And to be fair, um, that data has been replaced. It's kind of in the same place, but it's been replaced by a newer file. And so if you're trying to put together the original dashboard, you need the legacy file. So I'm gonna show you exactly where you can go to get that data. Instead of replying in comments to everyone, I wanted to make this video, make it available so you can um, see step-by-step step where to go to get that data to put the dashboard together. It's a really good exercise if you're just learning. So let's take a look. Okay, just so we're clear, this is the dashboard that I'm talking about where I wanna show you where to get the data. And so you can see some of the functionality here. It's showing us coronavirus, COVID-19 cases by location. And it's got a little animation, a little racing bar effect. I could slow it down a little bit, but it has this kind of cool effect. And so uh, this is a really good beginner to intermediate to dashboard to learn how to put together. And so um, one of the things that uh, someone has asked or I've seen in the comments is sometimes, let's go up here to um, the format animations. If I have the animations on, you'll note that I only get the single line at a time here. So um, for those of you that have asked, hey, I'm only seeing a single line at a time, uh, the cause is probably the, uh, the animation. So make sure you see how we're traversing through, but I'm not getting that trail. Um, so let's go ahead and stop this. Let's turn the um, animations off by default. And now I get that trail. And so just in case you were experiencing that, wanted to uh, share that as well. So let's take a look at the, um, the data. Um, you'll see, let's go to update now. You know, we have the case type, cases, uh, the difference uh, from, from the previous day, the date, country, region. Anyway, this is the data. And so a lot of you are saying, hey, I can't find this data anymore. And it's COVID19cases.csv. So where do you go to get this data? And I'll show you here on the Tableau site here in a second. Okay, so this is the Tableau uh, COVID-19 uh, coronavirus data resources page for the COVID-19 data hub. But let's take a look here. As you can see, right, this is the link. You're gonna go here to this link and this is gonna change like the, uh, the information that's here. Uh, the dashboards are here. It's, it's going to change, but we just need to know where to go get the data. So this is very nice. Um, liking what I'm seeing here on this dashboard. I've actually did a reverse engineer of this dashboard put together by some Zen masters here. Check that out uh, on my YouTube page as well. But we want to look for this. Connect to COVID-19 activity data. Go in here. And we want to come down here to the data.world section. And so you can do a link for Web Connector. I talk about that in one of the videos, but you know, we just want to, uh, you know, the, the simplest way, we're just gonna do the CSV file. So we can do a direct download. Now this is gonna take you to data.world and you have to have a, a login. You have to have an account on data.world. And so once you have that account on data.world, uh, you'll see uh, the COVID-19 activity is the newer file. We don't want the, uh, the newer file, we want to go back to the old school fi file here. We want to kick it old school, uh, COVID19cases.csv. And so we want to download this file. You see it's deprecated, <laughs> but we want to download this file as a CSV. I'm not going to do it, but this is the file that we need uh, to bring into Tableau so you can uh, uh, follow along with uh, with my video. So if I take you back to Tableau, this is the uh, the same information, COVID-19 uh, cases.csv, COVID-19 cases.csv. So this is where you get the data. And so here is where you go, all right? This is my, my YouTube page. Uh, it may look a little different in the future, but for now you'll see created playlists and I have a build of COVID-19 
uh, tracker dashboard in Tableau. And, you know, you can go in here. Oops. And we're going to hear some loud music <laughs> for a second. Uh, let's go ahead and dismiss that. But you'll see um, I have four different videos in here um, where you can step through and build out that dashboard with the information that I sent you. So um, hope this has been helpful. Again, wanted to make this video short and sweet just so you can see where that data was. Um, it is a an older legacy file, but you know how to get to it. So again, uh, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching.